In the previous video, we had set up the system. This was the video on pumping. And we had utilized a system containing methane, ammonia, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, water, and hydrogen. The basis of the video was going to be done with the SRK. The model basis, sorry, is SRK. In the simulation environment, we set up a feed stream. That feed stream had a composition of well, basically this composition given here in a molar basis. You can use the basis button. You will see that it's in mole fractions. The conditions were 35 degrees Celsius, one atmosphere gauge, or zero, I'm sorry, one atmosphere or zero atmosphere gauge, 1,000 kilograms per hour. We sent that to a flash separator or a mechanical separator the reason being we wanted to remove or ch um, we wanted to separate the liquids present from the vapors present because the liquids would be sent to a pump. Here we can see that the liquid flow is basically around 35 kilogram moles per hour. And we have the pump raising the pressure up to 10 bar. 10 atmospheres are roughly the same. This is your pump power. Now, what's the temperature? 35.08. The temperature here was 35. That's because there is not 100% efficiency in the energy transferred from the, 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 um, the driver into the hydraulic pressure. Some of that energy is transferred into internal energy. And that parameter is determined by the adiabatic efficiency. If the adiabatic efficiency was to drop, and that's a really bad pump, <laughs> then you should expect that this temperature here should go up, 35.24. That's because some more of the energy that has been provided by the driver is being transferred into, into thermal energy or internal energy rather than into hydraulic energy. This video will try and try and concentrate a little bit on the vapor stream and we'll introduce how to do compressors. Okay. A compressor is used to raise the pressure of a vapor stream. Compressors do not handle liquids and as such should always have a separator prior to them if there's any potential for liquid at all. Compressors are added to flow sheets to raise the pressure of the process stream or to find the duty required. Alright, the inlet will be the vapor and the outlet will be VAP-1. Just like pumps, compressors have duties and in this case Dash Q. Unknown duty. We've specified a duty, but it says unknown duty. That's because we've only identified that there is a duty stream present. This is like this is equivalent to adding a variable. When you add a variable, you need to supply the information for that variable or an equation to satisfy that variable. Under the parameters tab you will see the efficiency factor and again efficiency really determines how much energy goes into raising the pressure or doing real work and how much goes into um, internal energy or raising the temperature of the stream. We have the same option of entering a delta P or pressure ratio or we can simply come on the stream itself and enter the pressure as 10 atmospheres gauge. Note that it's salt. Note I did not specify a temperature it would, it would exit at. I did not specify vapor fraction or mass flow or composition. If I were to specify any of these things, I would over specify the problem and as such 
the solution the model will not solve in this case we calculated the compressor power as 85 kilowatts right now for this video what we'll do is we are going to raise the temperature of this exit stream to add some energy to it and then use a turbine to recover energy from the compressor or from the compressed gas so we will choose a heater unit we will add as the inlet FAP-1 the outlet VAP-2 and the energy as heater dash Q. Unknown delta P, in this case we should put a delta P of just 5 PSI. And now the unknown duty. Well, in this case I want to specify the temperature that I'm exiting at. And you would have seen a little more detail about configuring cool heaters and coolers in the earlier video. Temperature that I want to get it up to is, let's see, we're coming in at 321, 331 actually. So let's get that up to about 600 degrees. So we've added some energy to the stream. And that energy required to do this is 94 kilowatts right now this is not usual for a particular process but I'm doing this to illustrate how you would use an expander to recover energy uh, this is an expander it is basically a turbine here we add the expander we would put VAP2, in this case 2 atmosphere will be our outlet and we will add an energy stream or an energy variable. We will call this um, turbine dash Q and again we will not know its duty. Well. Again, you have a default efficiency in there based on the turbine that you have on your process. You can change this efficiency as needed. Right? And you have options to enter curves should you require. So let's neaten our flow sheet a bit. Right. So, since we said this is going to atmosphere, what we should do is set the outlet pressure. And the outlet pressure in this case will be zero atmosphere gauge. Note your compressor solves, sorry, your turbine solves, and the power requ recovered is roughly 81 kilowatts. And the temperature of the exiting stream has dropped to 369.5. Vapor fraction is still 1, so no condensation has happened inside the turbine. Okay. Um, a situation where something like this might occur would be like in a gas turbine system where a gas feed or fuel feed is compressed. Um, when it's compressed, it's sent to some sort of reactor, in this case, a, um, a combustion chamber. It's, um, the reaction occurs, generates energy. That energy is captured as internal energy within the, the gas stream. The internal energy is then transferred into mechanical energy through a turbine system. So the flue gas from the combustion chamber, which is compressed gas, is passed through a turbine 
and brought back down to some much lower um, pressure, releasing energy that is picked up by the shaft. In most cases, the shaft energy is then shared between the compressor energy required and, um, and the remainder used to either generate electricity or as driving power for some other device or some other um, pump, etc. Okay, thank you.